Hello everyone. Um, I'm about to do some crochet braids. <clears throat> I've been trying to do a video after I get all dolled up because I've been looking at other people's videos and every time they make a video they got makeup and they look all pretty and cute. If I did that, you'll never see a video. So I'm coming at y'all raw. Yeah, I just coming to see my hair, not to see how cute I am. So here it is. Um, but this is my braid pattern pattern. Uh, I did braids up into here so that I'm going to end up having a middle part and the hair will flow down. And then I did the hair going across so that the hair can lay flatter. I did not mean to do them this big. Um, I really wasn't looking in the mirror when I did them. I was just in the bed braiding. <clears throat> Which surprisingly the parts turned out cute, um, shaper than I thought. So Anyway, the hair I'm going to be using is this Yaki Hollywood. And it's a wine color. And when I saw it, it just the hair just looked a lot smoother. Um, even though it still is synthetic. Um, but I don't know, it just looked it's a little softer and smoother than like most yaki hair. I don't know, I just liked it. Anyway, so I'm gonna be having crochet braids with this hair and hopefully wear it um, straight for a while before I curl it. So we wearing it long. Um, so I will show a few. Um, show me install a few pieces, and then I probably won't come back on until I'm at the top because I'm gonna do um, the invisible part. So yeah, so I'm just gonna start here in the back. And I'm taking like real small pieces because this look can get really full really quickly so I'm not trying to have like a whole bunch of hair that is not really necessary and I'm just um, tying it over two times and then pulling um, I don't plan on cutting the hair uh, I hope to like leave it the length that it that it is um, because I want it long. So, hopefully that works out. Also, I'm just trying to think of things that y'all would ask. And things that I need to tell y'all while I'm doing this. So, I will be saying a lot of ums. But, I forgot what I was going to say. Hmm. Besides the fact that I'm not going to cut it, at least I'm going to try not to. But anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to go in and put these in. Hopefully it's not going to take me too long because I've been at this thing like all day. In between throwing up, having to lay down because I don't feel good. Peeing every two seconds, trying to eat, taking a nap. This is as far as I got since 11.30 and it is now like 4 o'clock. <laughs> so yeah, time is be hard. But I'm going to get from away from this camera so I can really do some work. And I will be back when I get to the invisible part in the front. Because y'all know how this process works already. Nothing new. Nothing exciting. Um, and then hopefully I can keep this hair from matting. I mean, good grief. Okay. Alright, so I'll be back when I'm in the front. Hopefully it's still today and not, you know, tomorrow sometime. Because we're moving really slow. So, catch you then.
Okay, um, I just close, made it close up so that you can see my braid when I do it. Um, so yeah, just going to show you how I do the no knot. And for the front, I mean for all of them I try to take small pieces. And for the front I try to take even smaller pieces. So I'm going to be working on this braid. And when I get to the front, at least when I'm doing the no knot or my closure, I usually put the um, the pieces very, very close so that there's no space like it is here. So because I want my hair to flow this way, I'm going to put my hook in going this way. So I'm going to hook it like normal and pull it through like normal. And then what I'm going to do here is just take a small piece from this side and that's what I'm going to loop. So when I tighten that and I pull this over, you don't see a knot. And then that's how it will be throughout that whole entire braid. So I will show you again. And again, I'm going to put it right up close <clears throat> to the last to the last one. Pull it through. And then like I said, take a small piece and loop it. And then have that go over. So that way it'll look a little bit more natural than showing like a knot um, in the very front. So I'm just going to be doing that for the first two braids. And then when I get to the other side, I'll be putting my hook in the opposite way. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. I'm just going to knot that, pull it over. So when I'm doing this braid, I'll be putting my hook in this way. That way my hair can flow that way. So you just want to make sure you be careful or um, depending on how you want your hair to flow with the no knot, that you put your hook in the opposite way of it. So I'll show a few more um, if anybody wants to be. And you can see. it until I am complete so stay tuned okay so I'm all done with this side and I just put this clip here to kind of get the hair trained to stay on the side and this you can see a lot clearer and now I'm gonna be doing this side same way as before only in the opposite direction and even though I was putting them really close together it didn't take long at all I mean the braid's not that long so so going in this way and looping it through and then grabbing a small section 
to loop or tie or whatever. And then tighten it. And then I'm going along this way. Very simple. And I figure um, this video might sound very boring because I'm not really saying much. <laughs> I'm just tired. I feel like I've been at this all day. I mean, I really have. Literally just taking my precious time. You can see it coming together. Hope you can see it coming together. Either way, you'll see how it looks finished, though. And this is probably my last one I show on camera. So I will come back when it's all done and right before I start to style it. Okay, so it's all finished and this is what the part looks like. And I'll take pictures up close. So for right now, I'm going to put my hair in small sections and blow dry it on high heat. And this will give it a more of a silkier look. And... <clears throat> I'll be using like a little vent brush to comb it through first. Just gotta open it. So I've done this hair on a client before. She said it got tangled a lot. Um, I keep thinking maybe she's lying. And that I won't have that problem. Because I just really don't want that problem. Uh, so yeah. And just like the like very ends. I'm going to get like straggly. I'll just cut that piece off. So I'm going to use a blow dryer. Put it on high heat. And I'm going to start at the bottom. With my little comb attachment. And work my way up. And then you'll be able to see a difference. So here we go. So if you look at this side and how it's nice and silky looking, whereas this side is still a little puffy. So this is the look I'm going for throughout the whole style. So I'm hoping not to have too many issues. Nice, right? Compared to this side. Boop, boop. So that's what I'll be doing. For the rest of this all these sections let me clip this side because getting on my nerves and then again I'm just gonna brush through and so far it's really not that tangled uh, I can imagine maybe shedding some hair And then again, cutting the very bottom. And here we go.
So that is it. And now my hair is nice and hopefully silky looking. And it feels a lot better. Feels really good actually. So yeah. So the only issue, um, well the issue that I know I'll have right now is this braid here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Um, it's showing a little bit, so I'm going to have to play with it. Put some hair back there. Cover it up. Um, see how that works. So, I will try to come here as often to make uh, updates. So that you know, like, how the hair has been holding up. How the hair's been holding up and how I'm able to deal with it and maintain it. But you know, I'll be forgetting. I'll be having things to do. Um, so, so far, I like it. And here's the back. Not sure what it looks like yet. And the sides. And if I wasn't sick and pregnant and sleepy and tired and a whole bunch of other stuff, I think this would maybe have taken me like two and a half to three hours. Instead, it's me all day. Whew. So, I am going to take pictures. I'm going to wait for my husband to take them or something. When I actually do get pretty and cute. I'm going to actually do my face a little bit. Yeah. So, other than that, stay tuned for pictures. And I hope you enjoyed. Peace.